Polish parliamentarian Mogashata Goshevska presented a new report titled Russian War Crimes in Eastern Ukraine in 2014. It exposes the action of Russian soldiers and Kremlin-backed separatist forces in Eastern Ukraine. The report includes 60 interviews with former prisoners of war. The interviews were conducted by former policemen and experts with the help of Ukrainian volunteers. Incarceration, physical and psychological torture, robbery and even murders. Just a brief list of what Ukrainian patriots went through while in captivity. Some of the crimes are shockingly cruel. Molgashata Goshevska stopped several times reading some stories of Ukrainian prisoners. They put down Ukrainian flag on the floor and ordered us to wipe out feet. Those who refused were killed. I had been laying on the table for two days. My legs and arms were tied. I wasn't given anything to eat and drink and wasn't allowed to go to the toilet. The victims described the awful conditions of their captivity. Detainees were packed wall to wall, sometimes 100 prisoners to a room with holes dug into the ground for toilets. They were fed infrequently and poorly. Some were refused water and medical treatment for days. Many were forced to sign over their property to the captors. The names of the victims are not being disclosed for safety reasons, but the perpetrators were all identified. The well-known self-proclaimed leaders and spokesmen of the Russian-backed separatist forces on the occupied territories of Donetsk and Lugansk. This report shows what actually Russian Federation is, who is Vladimir Putin and that he is responsible for war crimes in Donbass and Crimea. I hope that this report opens eyes many European politicians. There are a lot of dramatic description of crimes in this report, but it's not for cheap sensation, it's for understanding what is happening in Eastern Ukraine in 21st century. This report will form the basis for a complaint to the International Criminal Court. Next month, Molgashata Gashevska is going to Hague to present the evidence of Russia's involvement in the war in Ukraine. Margarita Svitnik, Igor Antonyuk, reporting from Poland for Ukraine Today.